Hi everyone, I thought I'd create a quick little tutorial on how to create your own personalized stickers for student work and it works especially good on say a Google Doc. So I created an assignment in Google Classroom where the students watch a video and then they um, answer some questions. If I wanted to give them a personal kind of good job sticker, I could click on a student's work and I have this student's work here. And now I want to insert a personalized sticker. So how I do that is go up here to the insert button and go down here to where it says drawing. So I'm going to make this my own personal. And this gives me, um, you know, kind of a palette to work from with some various tools. And once this gets loaded up here, I've got uh, this option of tools. And again, like most things with Google, they keep it lean and clean, very few options, but um, some powerful options. So I'm going to insert a shape just for my background and just do this quickly. So there's the nice shape for my background. It's going to come up by default. It's going to be this blue color, but I like to change it. And these gradient formats sometimes are kind of nice. I'm going to change this to a kind of a yellow gradient, make it a happy color. Blue is a pretty happy color as well. And so that's my first shape. And then uh, let's see, I'm going to also insert, may, insert maybe a call out. So I'm going to choose this one. And if I double click on a call out, it's going to bring up uh, the text box, or you could just uh, right click or double tap click. Say, great job, and an exclamation point. And then I could also, if I wanted to, in the shapes area, there is some, there's a happy face if you want to do that. There's also a heart if you wanted to choose those kind of real simple ones, a lightning bolt, that sort of thing. You could use that as your image. But I'm going to actually insert a picture of myself in here. So if I go to the image tag, and I could also go to just insert image. The second option here is take a snapshot. And if you have a computer with a camera on it, I'm not sure if my camera is going to go to the front or the back here. We'll have to just check here. There we go. So there's a picture of a little guy of my computers facing the back here. So I'm just going to put this little smiley face guy here. He's on my desk. Okay, I'm just going to take that snapshot and select it. And we're going to give it a second to load. It should get plugged into my drawing. And sorry about the delay. There it goes. And I'm going to have to obviously resize it. So we're going to take this down to size a little bit here. Okay. Again, you could put a picture of yourself would probably be a nice little option here. So here's my little happy guy. And I'm going to, because this shape, I don't want this shape behind it. If I right click on the shape or two finger tap, I'm going to just bring uh, this to the front. That'll bring that image to the front. And I may want to change that color scheme and I can do that. Uh, we'll go solid. We'll just make that white. And maybe make it bigger so that it expands over where I had my hand, or at least part of it. Okay, I'm just going to kind of resize and make that a little better. So I get my smiley face without showing all my hand over there. I could also, for this image, if I wanted to, if you go up here to the crop symbol, I can crop out some of that. So I can crop out over here, and I can crop out over here. It's going to give me a better look to my picture. Okay, it should. Again, if I crop it just right, should be able to get out. There we go. Should be able to get my hand out of the way with that cropping and maybe make this bigger now. Okay, this is just a quick example. Again, you could really take your time and do that, right? If I wanted to change the font, for example, if I highlight that, if you go to this more button up here, you will have some font options. Again, the ones that you've chosen and added. So I'm just going to say permanent mark one. That one look, always looks good. So now I have this nice um, sticker basically that I can use. Now notice there's a lot of empty space down here. So you'll sometimes have to, you know, readjust the space when you plug it into it. But just if you click here, you can click the save and close, and that's going to put it right in the document. Another option you can try is, if you want to use this sticker for other students, is in this actions area, 
do this download. So you can do a download as a JPEG image, and that's going to send it on down here to your uh, downloads folder. So you could use it again and again if you're in, uh, say, a, you know, regular computer. And then you could also put it in your Google Drive if you wanted to. So I'm just click save and close. And notice it puts it in my diagram. It puts it in the student's work. And now I can just kind of uh, adjust it, resize it if I want to. I can center it. So it's right in the student's work. And uh, so it gives a kind of personalized uh, great job sticker for you to use. And then if you wanted to use this for someone else's paper, since I saved it in my downloads folder, I could go insert and then this time choose image uh, and then go to upload from my computer. And now it should be in my downloads folder. And unfortunately, it will take kind of the the name of the students. So you could always rename it if you wanted to. That would probably be a good idea. And then, uh, so now I've got this good job sticker for another student. So I hope that helped uh, give you kind of a creative way to make kind of a personalized sticker for your students for Google Docs work when you're working within that in Google Classroom.